Hello, my dear learners. My name is Teacher LD, and I will be your teacher for this fourth quarter, week 4.1. To start with, let's have here our most essential learning competencies. First, illustrates law of sign, and secondly, solves problems involving oblique triangles. I hope we're all set. So let's get started. In today's lesson, the sign law, we will not be using the right triangle. Instead, we will be using a non-right triangle or what we call oblique triangle. So when we define oblique triangle, any triangle that is not a right triangle is what we call an oblique triangle. So solving an oblique triangle means finding the measurements of all three angles and all three sides. To do so, we need to start with at least three of these values, including at least one of the sides. So here's our first figure. We call this one angle side angle because we already know the measurements of two angles and the included side. Next figure is this, the angle angle side. The measurements of two angles and a side that is not between the known angles are already given. Lastly, we have here side side angle. We know the measurements of two sides and an angle that is not between the known sides. No worries, my dear students. I'll be guiding you to understand more about sign law. So let's have here points to remember. As you see, we have here a sample figure. This triangle has angle A, B, and C, and we also have the side A, B, and C. So we could simply write this as A over sine A is equal to B over sine B is equal to C over sine C. Or we can rewrite this as sine A over A is equal to sine B over B is equal to sine C over C. We will be using this in an example. Solve for the missing parts of the triangle. So here's our given triangle, which is the measurement of angle B, side A and side B are all missing. Here is our solution. To find the measurement of angle B, so measurement of angle B is equal to 180 degrees. Take note, my dear students, that 180 degrees is the sum of all angles inside the triangle. And of course, we're going to subtract it by the measurement of angle A and the measurement of angle C, which is 50 and 60 degrees. So we have now the measurement of angle B is equal to 180 degrees minus 110 degrees. And it gives us the answer 70 degrees. Since we already found the value or the measurement of the angle B, let's go to side A. So sine A over A is equal to sine C over C. We use sine C over C because sine C is given and side C is also given. So we'll change the value of the following and we have here sine 50 degrees over A is equal to sine 60 degrees over 100. Let's do the cross multiplication. After crossing multiplication, we have to divide both sides by sine 60 degrees. And we have this A is equal to sine 50 degrees times 100 over sine 60 degrees. Using calculator, let's compute the approximate length of side A. And that is 88.46. Now let's find for side B. So we will be using sine B over B is equal to sine C over C. Same process. 
substitute the value sine 70 degrees over B is equal to sine 60 degrees over 100. Cross multiplication and we will get this. Then divide both sides by sine 60 degrees. So B now is equal to sine 70 degrees times 100 over sine 60 degrees. Using calculator, let's compute and B is equal to 108.51. Let's have another example using problem solving. And here's our problem. A fire is spotted by park rangers stationed in two towers that are five miles apart. Using the line between them as a baseline, Tower A reports the fire is at an angle of 39 degrees, while Tower B reports an angle of 58 degrees. How far is the fire from Tower B? First thing that we have to do is to draw our figure. So here is Tower A, Tower B, and the location of the fire. So the highlighted words there is Tower A, which measures 39 degrees. Then we have here 58 degrees, which is the Tower B. Between A or Tower A and Tower B is 5 miles away. So we'll be looking for the distance between Tower B and the location of the fire, as well as the angle of the fire location is missing so let's solve for the measurement of angle C which is the fire's location measurement of angle C is equal to 180 degrees minus the given angles the angle A and angle B so we have here 39 degrees plus 58 degrees and it gives us 97 degrees. So let's subtract that to 180 degrees and angle C is equal to 83 degrees. This time we will be looking for side A. The distance between the fire and the tower B. So we will be using a over sine A is equal to C over sine C. A over sine 39 degrees is equal to 5 miles over sine 80 degrees. Let's do cross multiplication and divide both sides by sine 80 degrees. And we get this. A is equal to 5 miles times sine 39 degrees over sine 80 degrees. So since we compute using our calculator, our approximate distance will be A is equal to 3.17. Therefore, the fire is approximately 3.17 miles from Tower B. That ends our lesson for today. I hope to see you next time. And here are our resources.